In this module, we will see how to use a psychrometric chart to obtain properties of air and water vapor mixtures. First, let us look at some of the key properties that are shown on the chart. Here you see the dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, percent relative humidity, humidity ratio, enthalpy, and specific volume. So let's say that we know the dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature and we want to locate a point on the psychrometric chart so that we can determine all the remaining properties. In this example, the dry bulb temperature is 40 degrees C and wet bulb temperature is 30 degrees C. So with those two values, we can locate the dry bulb temperature line, which is a vertical line, and the wet bulb temperature line, which is the incline line, and see where those two lines meet. That point where those two lines meet is where we are going to determine all the remaining properties, like percent relative humidity, humidity ratio, and enthalpy. At that point, we will determine the percent relative humidity, the humidity ratio by following the line where it meets the humidity ratio axis and the enthalpy by following the incline line for enthalpy as shown here. On the psychrometric chart we follow the 40 degree C dry bulb temperature line and see where it meets the 30 degree C wet bulb line. That point where these two lines meet is the point where we will find all the remaining properties. So for relative humidity, we note that this point actually lies on the 50% relative humidity curve. For the enthalpy, we follow the constant enthalpy line, which happens to be the same as wet bulb temperature line, and read that value as 100 kilojoules per kilogram dry air. For humidity ratio, we follow the horizontal line to where it meets the right hand axis and that value is 23 grams of water per kilogram of dry air. For the specific volume, we note that this point lies between the two neighboring specific volume lines. Those are for 0.90 and 0.95 cubic meter per kilogram of dry air. So we visually interpolate the specific volume as 0.92, approximately where this point lies between those two 0.9 and 0.95 uh, lines. For the dew point, note that the humidity ratio remains the same, but the dry bulb temperature decreases. So we follow a horizontal line from the point towards left hand side to where it meets the 100% relative humidity curve or the saturation curve and read the temperature there. And from there we find the dew point to be 27.5 degrees C. Let's look at another example where we have the dry bulb temperature as 40 degrees C and relative humidity as 80%. So on the chart we will see where the 40 degree C dry bulb temperature line meets the 80% relative humidity curve. So the point where the dry bulb temperature line and the relative humidity curve meet is where we will determine all the other remaining properties. So as you see from this animation, we can determine the wet bulb temperature by following the wet bulb line from the point and reading it from the chart. For the humidity ratio, we follow the horizontal line from that point and read the humidity ratio. For the enthalpy, we follow again from this point the enthalpy line which is same as wet bulb line to determine the value for enthalpy. Let's consider another example where the wet bulb temperature and the percent relative humidity is given. So here we, will, we are given that the wet bulb temperature is 30 degrees C and relative humidity is 70 percent. 
So we follow the 30 degree C wet bulb line and see where it meets the 70% relative humidity curve. So where the wet bulb line and the percent relative humidity curve cross is the point where we can determine all the remaining properties. So for dry bulb temperature, we will essentially follow the vertical line and read the dry bulb temperature. And we can follow the horizontal line to see what is the humidity ratio and also follow the constant enthalpy line to find out what is the enthalpy. Let's look at another example. In this case, the dry bulb temperature is given as 30 degrees C and humidity ratio is given as 20 grams per kilogram dry air. So on the chart, we will identify a point that represents the dry bulb temperature of 30 degrees C and a humidity ratio of 20 grams per kilogram of dry air. Once that point is located, then we can see for relative humidity, what is the value from the relative humidity curve. For the wet bulb temperature, we will follow from this point and read the wet bulb temperature along the wet bulb temperature line. And similarly, if we extend that line further, we can find out the value for enthalpy. So in this manner, by knowing values of two independent properties, we can identify a point on the psychrometric chart and read all the other remaining property values from the chart following the procedures that we have seen in this module.